So I'm excited for this one as well. Take a shot for every time I say I'm excited for this one. If you are new to this level up. If you are new to this level Hello everyone, it's your girl Jay and today I am here with my November TBR for 2020. If you are new to this channel then you don't know this but my mom actually picks my TBR every month and she has a fun little theme that goes along with the books that she chose. So this month's theme is ugh teenagers. So without further ado, let us get started. The first book she chose was Katie McGarry's Pushing the Limits because as a teenager you're always trying to push the limits and figure out like what you can get away with so that's the deal with this title but this book follows a girl named Echo who used to be very popular in school but then something happens like an accident and she becomes like an outcast. She then meets a boy named Noah who is the bad boy and they both have secrets that they're hiding but they can't deny the chemistry that they feel towards each each other and it's like the story of that so I'm assuming your typical like new adult contemporary romance kind of situation going on I'm assuming there's gonna be a lot of sexy sexy times so it'll be a nice change from the stabby stabby murder murder books I usually read so I'm actually pretty excited about this one the next book that she chose was another Katie McGarry book and it is nowhere but here and because as a teenager you want to be pretty much anywhere but where you are this book follows a 17 year old named Emma whose father left them to go be part of a biker gang. She decides to go visit her father one summer and while she is there he tells one of the boys who wants nothing more than to join this biker gang to watch over her and make sure that a rival gang doesn't like come for her. It's basically the story of Oz trying to gain the father's trust by protecting his daughter to be initiated into the biker gang but then also falling for Emily at the same time and then nobody wants them together but they love each other so you know as teenagers do they will fight for each other and it's like the story of that so again another new adult contemporary romance book so more sexy sexy time the next book i am very excited about because it has been on my tbr for a thousand trillion years and everybody loves this book but it is the hating game by sally thorne and this is because as a teenager you hate everything and everyone i don't know if i was just a very miserable teenager or if everybody went through this but my mom based it off of me so Sorry, mom. But like I said, everybody seems to love this book. It's an enemies to lovers trope. I am a huge fan of enemies to lovers, so I'm very, very, very excited for this one. The next book she chose was Love from A to Z by S.K. Alley, and this is because as a teenager, you fall in love very, very quickly. I can attest to that. I, I, yeah. This follows a girl named Zeynep who confronts her Islamophobic teacher and gets into a lot of trouble. Her and her friends end up being suspended, so she decides to go visit her aunt in Qatar for an early like spring break. There she meets a boy named Adam who was just diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. He's hiding this from his family because they just lost his mother so they're still grieving. They both end up writing journals and I don't know if like they find each other's journals or what but they connect in some way and it's like the story of that. I honestly haven't heard a lot of people talk about this book. A lot of people hauled it but I never saw them actually like read it so I'm very interested to see what I think and if it's a good time or not. The next book she picked was A Study in Charlotte by Brittany Cavallaro and all I know about this is that it's like a Sherlock Holmes retelling about the great 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 granddaughter of Sherlock Holmes named Charlotte and she meets a boy and then they get accused of murder and only Charlotte can clear their name and it's like the story of them trying to clear their names and she chose this book because as a teenager you are constantly studying in high school for exams and all that jazz which is never a good time so I'm glad that that time of my life is over although it's going to be starting again in January when I go back to school why I sign up for these things I don't know, but here we are. The next book she chose was Kids of Appetite by David Arnold, and she chose this because as a teenager you eat literally everything. I still do that, but more so as a teenager you just inhale all the food. I don't know anything about this book. I bought it because it is the author of Mosquito Land, and I loved Mosquito Land, so I just 
wanted to see more of their writing. The back of the book says that there's a death and then a murder and I'm assuming they're gonna have to like clear their name or something. I'll read the back of the book just so you guys kind of get like the idea of it but it says Victor and Madeline have a story to tell. It begins with the death of Vic's father and ends with the murder of Mad's uncle. The Hackensack police would very much like to hear it but in order to tell their story Vic and Mad must focus on all the chapters in between. So murder mystery I guess but I like those so I'm here for it. The next book she chose was Fake Plastic Girl by Liz Lisbon. She chose this because as a teenage girl, oftentimes you are ending up being a little bit fake because you're trying to fit in the crowd and all that. I was never like that. I was a weird kid who never fit in, so cannot relate, but I know a lot of people go through this. This follows a girl named Justine who is not exactly popular, but then a ex-child star, Eva Kate, moves in across the street from her and brings her into the life of luxury but then Eva Kate ends up dead and everybody's pointing their fingers at Justine so, so she needs to clear her name from the police and that investigation is like the story of that. Murder mysteries we love those on our channel. So. And then the final book that she chose for this TBR is Odd Child Out by Gilly McMillan because as a teenager you are often the odd child out unless you're a fake plastic girl so ha see how these things tie together. This one has been on my TBR so many times before and I never end up picking it up. I don't know why, I just don't do it. It follows two boys, Noah and Abdi. They are friends at an elite private school one of the boys, Noah, ends up dead in the river. Abdi is not talking and the detective on the case has to try to figure out what happened to Noah but then Abdi goes missing and he needs to decide whether or not it is because he is guilty of the crime or if something more sinister is afoot and that's really all I know about it. It says that it talks about racism and the immigration system. So I think it'll be an interesting read. I'm just hopefully going to actually pick it up this time because like I said, it's been on my TBR like 20 times at this point. So fingers crossed we get around to it. All right, everybody, so that was my TBR for November 2020. Let me know down below if you have read any of these books and what you thought of them and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye.